Okay, I switched the water flow, and now there is more water in this room. Which means that bridge that had just been kind of sitting there uselessly is now useful. Claw shot up here. No, wait, that's not what you do. Oh, okay, that's right. You have to step on this switch to open the gate. And then you have to kill this stupid thing. That was a really long combo. Okay. Up on this switch. Hook onto that, the gates will start to close, but they won't close quickly enough to stop you from getting in. And there you go. That's the last heart piece and the last treasure of this dungeon. That is a ninth part. If you have, if you've collected all the heart pieces that you can up to this point, you should have nine hearts by now. And let's just check to make sure. Yep, no chests left. Which means it's boss time. Wow, that was bad. Alright, I saw a medallion up there. Let me just lock on the that. Latch on. Well, I suppose I could have picked any spot on that IV. Of course, it has to happen one more time. All right, just go to any place where the stairs aren't, and oh, I happen to pick the right direction. Oh, that door opens the... Whoa, whoops, I meant to refill my heart. Oh, well. It's not like I'm half dead already. <laughs> this room's dark. Very dark. And going down further should not make it brighter. I do hope it's going to get a bit brighter before the boss fight starts, or when the boss fight starts. This is a big room, apparently. There's something down there. It's a big tentacle. Looks like it may be electrified, too, or at least something of fire. Hey, maybe that's the light source. Maybe that's why it's getting brighter as I get lower. Anyway, what do I have to do to start the boss fight? Do I just have to get closer? Yeah. And there's an eye. Uh-oh. Lots of tentacles. And the giant mouth. Two giant mouths. Okay, more feel. This guy likes to eat you. Do not let him. Stay far away. Lock onto that eye. 
claw shot it and hit it with your sword. Uh oh, it's releasing water bombs now. Too far to target it. No, I'm not. No, nope, wrong thing. Right, maybe I can move in a little closer. Come on. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Ah, come on. Could be I'm too far. I'm just trying to play it safe. Rather than go in close, be reckless, and get eaten a whole bunch of times. There it is! Ah, why didn't it... Oh, because I released the wrong button, that's why. This really isn't as hard as I'm making it look. Where is it? There. Lock on. Yeah, the eye will be inside one of the tentacles, but it switches. No, not that. So lock on to the eye, dummy. That's better. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to hit it more than once. Per, like, lock on. Or per yoink. Once per yoink. If you get closer, it will be easier to get the eye, but you will also render yourself vulnerable to being nommed. Ah, do not want. There's the eye. Gimme. Give Gimme give the creepy eye. Gimme the slimy, dis disgusting eye. Why do I want it? Because I'm crazy. Okay, yeah, just shake the Wii remote to throw the water bomb if you catch one. Ah, oh, there it is! Chuck. Or the nunchuck. Chuck with the nunchuck. Door knot. No, wrong thing. Again. See it. Come on, put it in range. Why it's like moving its eye around everywhere, I don't know. And here's the part where you realize that the thing is much bigger than you thought. Okay, this is really more feel. It's pretty big, isn't it? The thing I was looking at earlier was just its head. Okay, take off the iron boots. You will not need them for the rest of the fight. Stay away from its mouth or it will eat you. What you want to do is target the area on its upper back and claw shot it. You need to be above it to do so. And Mida's just going to tell me what I know already. Come on. It can be hard to hit because, of course, it keeps moving. Oh, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Okay, it tries to attack me. Instead, I get to attack it. Yeah. 
yeah, anyway, you, as I did, you, um, you target that thing, claw shot it, which means you need to be a bit closer than I am right now. And when you latch onto it, then you do what the music tells you to do and stab. I like this music. You hear this boss music, I think, once more later. And you're in kind of a similar situation, actually. Sort of. Here, monster, monster, monster. I don't know if there's any special secret to actually hitting this thing. Okay, I'll take it. And it's knocking over all the columns. I wonder how much support those columns are actually providing. I guess it's easier to do it from some angles than others. No, don't suck me in, please. Thank you. Yeah, I guess when he starts sucking you in is... is when you, um... is when it's a good time to try to latch on. Especially if you're at the right angle. Anyway, the third time you do that, look out for the finish icon. And then just press A. And you kill him. He died. Now, as Lightning pointed out, or maybe it was her guest commentator, which was Zimara Tricks at the time, this doesn't make sense. The temple is underwater. Why should a crack in the wall cause the water to drain out? Poof. Here's the last one. Story time? Okay, maybe not story time. Yet. She's sorry? Well, that's something new. Yeah, when you meet her, she does not seem like the type to be sorry. Anyway, heart container, of course. And that's ten hearts. And I won't need my Zora armor anymore. Sorry, Colin. Okay. Now she disintegrates me again. Yes, I went to save. Alright, that's the end of the session. I will see you guys later. Synchro 2112, over and out. Bye.